Well, our next guest will start the new year off 90 pounds lighter, and she did it by being thinspired, which is also the title of her new book. That's right, here with details on how she dropped the weight, is keeping it off, and how you can do the same is author and ABC News correspondent Mara Schiavocampo. Welcome to Arrive 360. There you go, you nailed it. There you go. I worked on it. <laughs> Thank you guys for having me. Well, thank, thank you for you being here. And congratulations on the book. Uh, I know it's been a long here. journey it's for like you. It's like having but... a baby. Writing a book, I mean, it's a long, <laughs> yes. long, laborious process. It is almost here. Tomorrow is the day, December 30th. Go out and get yours. All right. Well, tell us about the title, Thinspired, and how that motivated you through your journey. You know, this all came about so organically. I started mm -hmm. to lose weight after I had my daughter because I wanted to lose the baby weight. And then I found something that worked really well. So I was like, well, let me see if I can do three more. Let me see if mm -hmm. I can do three more pounds. And all the way down to 90. So of course, people started to notice, and everybody had the same question, what are you doing? And so that's really what this is all about, is answering that question. Because my sincere hope is that if there's someone else who's struggling with the demons that I struggled with, that I can help them. Now, I was committed to being honest. So I don't tell people what they want to hear. Mm. I tell people what I think they need to hear, a lot of the hard lessons that I had to learn. Like oh. what? So what, what can readers expect from your book? Okay, so here's the single biggest piece of losing weight. The food, no. right? It sounds obvious, Shannon, oh. but it's not. People think, okay, I'm gonna count carbs, I'm going to count points, I'm gonna work my butt off at the gym, I'm mm -hmm. gonna drink a ton of water. Mm -hmm. If your diet isn't clean, it doesn't matter if you're eating you know, mm -hmm. uh, no carbs, all carbs. If you don't have a clean diet, if you're not focused on that, you're not gonna lose weight. You can kill yourself at the gym Mm -hmm. Seven days a week, twice a day. If your diet's messed up, you're not going to lose the weight. That was yeah. the single biggest surprise to me, that I had to have a clean diet. There are no ways around it. There are no shortcuts. Mm -hmm. You've got to get rid of certain things or you oh. won't keep it off. Okay, so we know this is what you did in your life, but we also know you're an Emmy Award winning journalist. So what type of research <laughs> went into creating all the content you put in the book as well? You know, what's interesting is that a lot of the things I realized were working, but I didn't know why. So I had to do the mm -hmm. research after the fact. So for example, sleep. Mm -hmm. I noticed right away that when I would sleep, my weight loss efforts were so much better than what I wouldn't sleep, but I didn't know why. So then I had to do the research for the book. Here's what I found out, which was really surprising. Mm -hmm. After one night of not sleeping, the hormone in your body that tells you you're full goes down, and the one that tells you you're hungry goes up. So what does that mean? It means you're eating more. People eat about 45% more when they're sleep deprived. Really? So sleep is good for you. Listen, team no sleep equals team fat. Okay, okay but you know how our industry works. How much sleep are we you realistically supposed to get? You have to make it a get? priority. If you make it a priority, you will be amazed at the time you find. When you shut Facebook off, when you don't make those phone calls late at night to chit chat with your girlfriends, you have to make it a priority. Okay, so what's the appropriate amount of sleep? Okay, so it's different for every person, right? Mm -hmm. It's an individual thing. The only way to know whether or not you're sleep deprived, and this is what sleep researchers will tell okay. you, is whether you're sleepy during the day. Oh, if um, you were put in a enough. dark room in a comfortable chair, I'm would deprived. you fall asleep? Yes. If the answer is yes, <laughs> yes. then you need to get more sleep. <laughs> So figure out how much sleep your body needs. And here's the thing, just try to get more. You don't have to go from five hours to eight hours. That's a lot of sleep. Mm. Just try to get five and a half or six. Okay. Just do Good little just baby bit more. steps. Baby, baby steps, steps. Okay. that's the road to success. Now, throughout your journey, what was the most surprising thing you learned about yourself throughout the process? You know what's really interesting? What I learned is that I, I never thought I was an emotional eater, but mm. I learned that I was eating to feed certain needs. Mm -hmm. And the biggest thing for me was understanding that if I take the food away, I have to put something back because I still have those needs. So how am mm. I going to meet those needs? So the way that I meet them now, let me keep it real, shopping, okay? Mm -hmm. Because that for me is I a thought. lot of fun <laughs> and it gives me a little bit of excitement that sometimes I used to get through food. Um, exercise, I'm at the gym six to eight times a week because I love it, because it feels so good. But did you, you know, love the it meditation, at first? prayer, I had to find the right exercise. When people say okay. they don't like to exercise, what they mean is they don't like certain exercise. Mm. The human body was created to move. There is something out there you will love. Kiss a lot of frogs, find the right one. Okay. For me, it was Soul Cycle. I love spin. I did two oh. classes this morning. I'm obsessed with it. Wow. I love it. Oh, I hate spit. Did you say I had two? Well, I'm like, oh my God. That's not your thing, though. That's okay, not my thing. thing. Okay, fair enough. So, at what point was it the breaking point where you, you said I had to do something? And how heavy did you get? So, I was about 50 pounds overweight before I got pregnant. So, today mm -hmm. I'm 140 pounds. I'm 5'3. Before I got pregnant, I was about 190. And then I gained 40 pounds in pregnancy. So, I was 230 when I went in to give birth to my daughter. And when I had my baby, I just had to get the baby weight off because mm -hmm. I was like, I can't. 
can't stay this size. You know, I was comfortable being plus size, but not that plus size. But was there anything that happened where you were like... It was just the baby. So I had the baby. I'm like, I got to get this baby weight off. So okay. I didn't give myself any excuses, any outs. I had to get it off. And once I got it off, I said, okay, let me do three more pounds. And okay. three more and three more all the way down to 90. Wow. Set small, small goals. Small goals. That's oh. important. Now, I, I hear that you believe in a clean eating philosophy. Yes. So, now, what does that mean you can consume? Did you throw Besides cardboard. Everything? Yeah, you know. It's, okay, so this Tofu, is... Tofu, fine, but what else? This is the tough medicine that people don't want to hear. Okay. There are certain things that most people abuse, and mm -hmm. it's different for every person. Mm -hmm. For example, I, you could put french fries here. I sit in front of them all day. I, I won't, they won't bother me. Mm -hmm. That's not my thing. You put a plate of donuts here, they're going to torture me. Well, so the you have to figure out what your thing is, what mm -hmm. your abusive food is. You got to get rid of it completely. What you is it if it's everything? Yikes. I abuse all types of food. I don't believe matter. that, Shannon. I, I don't prom, believe that chocolate. Over, do you everything. overeat broccoli? Yes, no, I do. Salads, I will it. kill a salad. Can, Maybe I'm, if it's I'm, drenched in ranch <laughs> dressing. I don't even need dressing. I just, I overeat. I don't know how to do the portion control thing. Okay, so then so. that's your that, that's your issue. So then mm -hmm. that's what you need to figure out is okay. how you can. But I don't believe that you would abuse every single food. Almost. I have a hard time believing that. Almost. But we gotta yeah. we gotta talk. We gotta figure okay. out. Okay. Well, you have the formula. What's the formula of your eating, your working out? Yeah. Your so how what do you I realized, that up? and this was after the fact. So when I already had lost sixty pounds, people said, "What are you doing?" So mm -hmm. I wanted to give them an honest answer. So I looked back and said, what have I been doing? So I put together a formula. I realized that I was foc focusing 70% of my energy on food, mm -hmm. the single most important thing, 10% of my energy on sleep, 10% mm -hmm. on planning. You have to have groceries in the house. You have to mm. cook. You have to wash gym socks. And 10% on exercise. Biggest surprise, exercise is so good for you. Mm -hmm. plays a really small role in weight loss. Wow, that's really so small. shocking. You would think everyone thinks I it's know. exercise, exercise, it's, exercise. It's, and you know what's interesting? Mm -hmm. No trainer, no doctor, no nutritionist, no expert has disagreed with me at all. They have all said to me, you are absolutely right. Exercise plays a really small part in weight loss. Clean up your diet first. Mm -hmm. Then all get right. to the gym. All, all right. right. And you can be thin spired through all of that. <laughs> exactly. I'm thin spired yes. right now. I I'm ready too. to go. I mean, get me some broccoli. <laughs> and thinspired.com. I put a lot of resources together on thinspired.com, not just the book, articles, information, okay. products that I love. I'm not selling anything. I'm not making a dime off it. Go there. Mm -hmm. Check it out. I just want people to get thin spired. To all be right. thin spired. It's a great resource yes. for us. And make sure you get the book also available everywhere books are sold tomorrow. Right? Yes. Yes, all indeed. All right. Thank you so much <laughs> for joining us. Thank you for thin spiring us. Thank you. Oh, inspiring us. 2015. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you again, and we'll be right back with more Rise Entertainment 360.